Hello everyone and a very warm welcome. In this video, we will be solving question number 6 in 30 days 30 questions J advanced series. So without wasting any time, let us move on to the question. Question says that integrate 1 plus x into cos x minus sin x whole divided by uh, whole divided by we have x plus sin x plus cos x whole power 1 by 2 x minus sin x plus cos x whole power 3 by 2 dx this is equals to x plus l sin x plus m cos x whole power n multiplied by x plus p sin x plus q cos x whole power r plus the constant c. Okay. Now what you have to do is you just need to find out uh, what is going to be the value of l plus m by n multiplied by p minus q into r. So, so many p, q, r, l, m, n we have here. We just need to find out what is going to be the value of this one. Okay. It is given that l and n are greater than 0. l and n are greater than 0. We need to get the answer for this question. So, basically we have to integrate it. Once we integrate, we will be able to get all these unknown constants. Right. So, what do we solve the question? Question ko observe karo. Right. If you just look at this expression, you won't even get the idea of what to do. What do we do with this? It's a very complicated expression. Hai. 1 plus x cos x minus sin x is the derivative of. Let us check what is the derivative of this. No, it's not. X cos x is the Right. Similarly, in this derivative, mein bhi, I won't get x into cos x. So, if you want to take t or t square, there is no question. Nahi. I cannot take any one of them as t square. Next, what we can think of? Definitely, it is something like x into dx or t into dt ka form. Hai. Right hand side ki help le then. They are writing that your answer will turn out to be something the product of these two. Okay. Product of these two means now what we can think of. Look at the expression. See, numerator ka this expression is definitely going to contribute in dx. Ye to dx may contribute karega. Ye dx may contribute kar raha hai ka ye dt may contribute karega. Mene kya kya? After looking at this expression, ye square root tha na? Aur ye hai whole power 3 by 2. I just have rewritten the question in this form. See how I'm going to write it. I'll write it as under root of x minus sin x plus cos x upon x plus sin x plus cos x. Actually, I have just multiplied and divided it with root over x minus sin x plus cos x. So, numerator may koi bhi change nahi abhi, other than the factor that I have written, already written. Coming to the denominator, it has become x minus sin x plus cos x whole square dx. Right? Whole square dx. Okay. So, now what we are getting here, it looks something like, ki agar hum isse t maante hai, isse nahi, iske reciprocal ko agar mein t assume karti hoon, to uske derivative mein definitely iska square create ho jayega. Right? Iska square create hoega. I am just moving in the direction which is giving me a little hint. Hame t lena hai so that dt mil jayega. Now, dt is a big expression here. So, how are we are trying to create it? I am just getting the hint from this expression. Because it is whole square, this must be something like the derivative of a quotient function, right? So, that is the denominator square. If you this expression, it will show the numerator x minus sin plus cos. So, what I am going to do now in this question is, I will be taking x plus sin x plus cos x upon x minus sin x plus cos 6 as t square. हम इसे t square ले रहे हैं. ठीक है, हम इसे t square लेकर प्रोसीक करेंगे. अगर हम इसे t square ले रहे हैं, इसका क्या मतलब है? अब इसका derivative check करना पड़ेगा, because if you are getting the derivative of the required form, then the question will be over. Right? चलिए, तो let's verify. Derivative लेना शुरू करते हैं. Denominator, x minus sin plus cos, multiplied by the derivative of numerator, which will be 1 plus cos minus sin. Then we have minus, Numerator multiplied by derivative of denominator. Coming to denominator, it is x minus sin plus cos ka whole square dx. It will be equals to 2t dt. Well, I am interested in checking what we are going to get on the left hand side, especially the numerator. Because denominator to match kar hai. I am looking for the numerator now. So, numerator check karte hai, kya I am just going to club all the terms of x together. 
So taking all the terms of x, 1 plus cos minus sin, then we have minus sin, 1 plus cos plus sin. So you can see that 1 got cancelled, sin got cancelled, I am just left out with 2x cos, right? Okay, now let's go ahead. Now I am going to club the terms of sin. This is the second second term, let's club it. Let's club it. So minus sin I have taken common, 1 plus cos minus sin. There I have taken minus sin common. So we will be left out with plus 1 minus cos minus sin. Yani 1 will stay, cos will get cancelled and we will be left out with 2 sin. Okay, 2 sin ka term bach jayega. Okay. Abhi hum log chalte hain cos ko club karte hain. Yani iska cos and iska cos I am going to club. Now you will be getting 1 plus cos minus sin. And from here minus 1 plus cos plus sin. So again 1 got cancelled, sin got cancelled and we are left out with 2 cos. So only numerator pair was concentrating. I calculated numerator. Let us write it properly now what we are getting. I am getting 2x cos x. Then what I am getting is minus uh, 2 sin. Minus 2 sin x. After that I am getting it as uh, minus ki jage minus. So plus 2 sin square x. And then I am getting plus 2 cos square x. Right? Plus 2 cos square x. This is what I am getting here. Okay, or simplify karte. You can see that last two terms together will just give me 2. And if I take 2 common, I am actually getting the numerator 1 plus x cos x minus sin x. Right? This is what we have in the numerator. So that's it. This is what I was looking for. If I take this one as t square, will I be getting the remaining whole expression as dt? So yes, I am getting it as 2t dt. That's it. The question is over. Now you use the substitution. Your question will convert to the form integral root over 1 by t square. So it will become 1 by t. After that, the remaining term is 2t dt. So 2, sorry, 2 will not get cancelled. t will get cancelled and answer will become 2t plus the constant of integration. Right? What we are going to get is 2t plus the constant of integration. So let us just check. Our answer kya gya? Now the answer is 2t. And what is t? t is the square root of this one. So now you take the square root of this one. And 2 ka factor, I think we are going to get it over here. Let me just check if we are not making any error. Uh, yes, we are making an error because 2t dt and we are also getting twice of the numerator. So remove that 2. Okay, so 2 ko remove kar do. Answer is t plus c. t plus c ka matlab, t ki value yaha pe aap put kar sakte hain. Now you can compare L, M, N, P, Q, R sub values compare karne ke baad, you will be getting the answer as 4. So I am just leaving that last wala calculation and comparison part for you people. Complete it and check your answer whether you are getting it as 4 or not. Okay? Well, I really appreciate your engagement with the question. If you found the question enjoyable, useful, then consider giving the video a thumbs up, subscribing for future content and sharing it with your friends. Look forward to seeing you in the next video. Until then, happy learning.